welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be cooking Sunday dinner. So on the menu right now, we have broccoli and cheese, stuffed chicken breast, collard greens, and rice pilaf. So we're gonna start by cleaning our greens, cutting them up, soaking them, all that good jazz. So usually I start by filling up my with hot water and a few caps of vinegar. So as I'm cutting it, I'm going to throw them in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my heart pot on high go ahead and put my smoked meat inside as well as some chopped onions. That way that that meat can go ahead and start cooking while I'm cleaning my greens. Hey, cutting onions, so yes, I get the frozen chops, but they work the same. They might take a little longer to cook, but that's okay. You got the same amount of time that it would take to take. My eyes are too sensitive to move me, so I don't know why I'm putting them in my face. I'm just going to spread it out on the bottom. I have about half a bag of this left, so that's what I use. So now I am about to cut into my green. You literally just cut the stem off. And leave it there so that you can roll it later. And just continue to do that to each one. So you have enough that you can roll up and snip it. Usually I would get the bag of greens because I don't feel like doing all this, but of course, y'all know Walmart has nothing in stock. But that's okay, we can make it work otherwise. So when you have your little bunch, basically just roll it. I really just forgot to put my smoked meat into my crock pot, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. Usually I use um, a turkey leg, but of course Walmart's installed, and it didn't have no smoked turkey next either. So I got um, turkey tail, but it all worked the same. Very flavorful. I'm back to cutting my greens. In about a few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add some chicken broth to my crock pot for my greens. Um, just trying to get a little bit of that flavor off that turkey tail before I add my chicken broth. So as you guys see, I'm just continuing to cut up my greens like I just showed you previously, making sure that I roll them up precisely, cut them, and add them into my mixture of water so that they can soak. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken broth to my greens. Just going to add a little bit of that flavor to my greens. 
popcorn, the margarines. Usually add about two cups. We're gonna do this mixture a few times. Rinse out the sink and add in more vinegar and water. And then once again, rinse it again. I can't stress this enough. Please, please, please wash your greens. So these are the seasonings that I'm gonna season my greens with. I have already finished with my greens. They are bright and green. That's how you can tell that they'll wash good when they have that white color to them. So I'm just going to put them in my crock pot. Depending on how tender you like your greens. So I'm gonna start by putting a little garlic paste in there. You can kind of just drop how much you want. Um, I always say season to your liking. Some people like very, very bland food. I'm not one of those people. But hey, whatever works for you. So now I'm just adding the rest of my seasonings that you guys seen before and then I am going to give this a good stir and, um, and then I'm going to close the lid on it just making sure that the seasons are evenly spread. For right now we're going to let these cook down. All right, so next I am going to make my stuffing for my stuffed um, chicken breast. So I'm going to use broccoli, um, cream cheese, some peppers and onions, seasonings, of course, and some Italian-style blend cheese and some cheddar cheese. So first things first, I'm going to wash my broccoli. Um, and the products out, they usually give you um, small pieces. So of now I'm broccoli. just cleaning my broccoli thoroughly. I did add some lemon juice to kind of help with that as well. Cutting it to small little pieces so that you can cutting out these dead pieces. Cutting to smaller pieces so that I can stuff these in my chicken breast. So I'm just continuing to cut my broccoli up into small pieces, cutting off that dead ends. I like a lot of broccoli, so I use the whole bag for this. Okay, so next I am going to finish my filling for my chicken breast. So I have my wash cut up broccoli in here. I've had my cream cheese sitting out since we started the greens. It's easier to actually mix cream cheese when it's a little bit softer so i make sure i keep it out the fridge for a little bit so i can mix it um i have some peppers and onions in here yes they were frozen but i've had them out since i've had the cream cheese out so now they're not frozen and i can actually be able to move around with that as well um i do sometimes put a little bit of ranch in mine it just depends um so i'll probably do that too but at first I just start with my cream cheese. Yes, that's my style. I don't um, put the whole thing in right away. Cause like I said, cream cheese is a lot to mix. And if you like me and you don't like all the extra labor or feel like you're doing a lot, then 
I just put in a little bit at a time. Because sometimes I might, I see that I might not eat the whole bar. It just depends. So take it out and I'll just go ahead and start putting my broccoli in there. So now I'm just continuing to add that cream cheese in there. I also did end up adding a little bit of ranch. I added my peppers and onions and my two different cheeses and I gave that a good stir. I added all of my seasonings as well. Season to your liking and then I stuffed it in my plastic bag. So right now I'm going to check on my greens, give them a little stir and just kind of chill out for a little bit. Um, I'll probably come back in about two and a half hours and actually start dinner. And I'll see you guys in two The hours. first thing I did when I started back cooking was removing those turkey tails from my greens, shredding them up and adding them back in. So now, as you can see, I've added my brown sugar. I've added my meat back in the crock pot and my little bit of butter. Um, and I'm just going to get this to stir. So I'm going to let this cook down a little bit more and I'm about to go ahead and start slicing my chicken breast and filling it up with the filling. Okay, so now I am about to cut up my chicken breast. I've already washed it and I'm going to season it and get my stuffing together so I can go ahead and put it in the pan and put it in the oven. I'm about to preheat my um, oven to... So right now, 350. So you did not return. So maybe the relatives will change. This is executive buffet there. And uh, we'll be covering some of the important stuff. So uh, nice handy there. All right. You good. So you just kind of found a little pocket that you can kind of cut into the chicken without opening it up on the bottom. Try to cut all the way to the corner as much as you can so you can fit as much filling as possible inside the chicken. So I'm cutting it all the way back. All the way back. Just like that. Just like that. Some people take to fill out their chicken. I do too. I am going to remove some of this um, before I actually start filling it. But I want to go ahead and make my cut first before I start removing the excess stuff. So now I'm just cutting slits in the rest of my um, chicken breast. Then I'll begin to remove the fat off of every one of the chicken breasts as much as I can. Okay, I am back. I have cut off most of the fat off of my chicken breast. I am now going to put a little mustard on my chicken. Mustard is a good tenderizer. Um, so yeah. And it also helps the seasonings stick instead of using oil. Mustard, and no, you can't taste the mustard. I absolutely hate mustard, so no, you cannot taste it once it cooks. It's just a good tenderizer. Damn. Now I am going to season my chicken, a little onion powder. Make sure that you season your chicken enough for both sides once you rub it in. Um, Italian. So here I'm just adding the rest of my seasonings. You can choose whatever seasonings to your liking, um, preferably what you would use on chicken or anything that you would use to make your regular chicken, just use it for this recipe. Now I'm just rubbing in my seasonings on both sides, making sure that it's coated well. Bag, cut a little hole so that I can feel my excuse my cameraman. Chicken breast. Yeah, so just gonna cut a big enough hole because I mean the broccoli is trimmed but still big enough hole for it to come out of. You don't want to flip it to that side or start squeezing until you're into your first chicken breast. So I open up this pocket and you're just going to squeeze your bag. And fill up the chicken, basically. 
um, you can get like a spoon, a little tablespoon, just stuff it a little bit more. It's fine if it, you know. If it sticks out, that's fine. It's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm just going to basically add the chicken breast stuff into my pan. Oh, excuse my pan, I ran out of aluminum foil. So now I'm just basically filling up the rest of my chicken breast, adding them to my pan to get them prepped for the oven. I also added um, some butter on top as well as some toothpicks just to keep it steady. I also added a little bit of chicken broth at the bottom of the pan. Now I am going to stick it in the oven. Let's see, it's going to and I will check it in about 15 minutes. I ended up cooking these for 40 minutes. So this is the rice pilaf that I cooked. Um, I didn't show me actually cooking it because y'all know how to cook rice. And if you don't, just follow the instructions. It's pretty simple. But this is the yellow rice pilaf that we'll be eating with. The stuffed chicken breast, which is Currently still in the oven cooking. That looks marvelous. And then we have our greens. I ended up cooking these on high for about six hours. Okay, so you guys, this is the final product. We have our rice pilaf, the stuffed chicken breasts, as well as the greens. Y'all just look at these plates. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want me to cook more, please comment ideas on what you guys want to see. Um, I like to learn new things to cook as well as I know a lot of things to cook. So, of course, um, I'm open to trying new things as well. Um, if you guys replicate this recipe, please comment below and let me know how it turns out. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and comment more topics that you want to hear.